All right, guys, I'm going to um, walk you through Padlet. Um, so the first thing I did was actually just in your web browser, whatever you choose to use, you type in Padlet, and as you notice, it came up automatically, padlet.com, and it takes me to this uh, welcoming page. And you'll see Create Padlet, Sign Up. You don't need to click Sign Up. Just go ahead and click on Login. It's going to take you to this page where um, you will see login with Google and you will do that. You'll log in with your Google VBSD account. So just click that. Um, automatically your Google account should pop up with uh, your VBSD account. So go ahead and click on that. Lots of clicking. Um, now you, before you get to this page, you'll actually have a page that has um, some setting features that it wants you to say allow to so you'll need to click allow and then it will take you to your dashboard which you'll notice this is my home and it's my dashboard um, and these are some just different padlets that I've either created or been a part of um, and this is the one that Beth had us join yesterday um, so if you're going to create a new padlet you just click new padlet creating your Padlet, magic happy rainbow. Um, so I like to take the time to go ahead and modify a Padlet. Um, and here you'll see modify Padlet, add title, description, change background, or privacy. So let's go ahead and modify Padlet. So you might want to give it a title, um, Padlet Practice. Okay, and here are... Um, you can put a little portrait with it if you'd like. I don't generally do that. You can. You can go ahead and click. It has a nice fun picture right next to it. My origami drag crane. Um, Padlet practice. And um, then, like yesterday, you guys didn't see this, but Beth had wallpaper on hers, a pretty uh, wave. So you get to choose from the uh, wallpaper, which would be your background. Um, so there are lots of fun different ones. You can have wallpaper like that, ninja stars, I think I'll go with ninja stars, why not? Um, but you can see map, calendar, notebook, um, so we'll go with ninja stars. Um, layout, so you can have uh, choose freeform which allows stickies to pop up all over and on top of each other. I really don't recommend freeform um, you can use stream where posts are just placed boom below each other um, and I don't recommend that either. Um, oh no, where did my modify go? Modify that Padlet, so that's good. I hit this little wheel here and it took me back to modifying my Padlet. Um, I generally go with grid. Um, you can do stream, it's organized as well, but grid uh, we'll just post them one right next to each other across in a, a nice organized manner. So take some time to maybe think about your layout. Um, privacy, this is something that you can have a hidden link to where you share it with your students. Um, you could have it password protected. I don't think you need to if you're just sharing the link with your students. Totally public, I don't think I would do that either um, since you're using it uh, for school purposes. Um, and again, you have private um, so only you and people you add by email can access this. Um, but hidden link is nice because then you can share that link with whomever you want. Um, you don't need to worry about notifications. Um, here's the address right here that you will use to copy and paste um, your um, Padlet. So you can click and copy and paste that. Um, copy, you won't need that, and then if you're like, really, I don't like this at all, I'm just going to delete it, and then you can delete it. Um, so now let's go ahead and click on this, and even when I click on the top bar here, my address comes up that is linked with my Padlet. So I can from here hit uh, copy, so if I uh, right click, I can go ahead and go to copy and I can paste it where I might want my students to find it. So if I go to, 
let's see. Sorry guys, this might take a little while because I'm on a site I don't usually use, or a web browser I don't usually use. Um, so I can go to, I use Schoology this year, um, which has upsides and downsides. So I'm going to go ahead and find my course, which is already archived. Uh, I hope you're not paying too much attention to what I'm doing now. I just want to show you how I'm pasting it into one area in order for it to be shared with a lot of people. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to add my link. I'm going to put a link. I'm going to put, paste my link there. And you can do that by right click paste. I'm going to call it Padlet Practice. I'm going to add it. And then let's see if there's my link to my Padlet practice. And so it takes students to the Padlet and then they can double click. Um, you can do the same thing that I did here in Google Classroom as well. So right here I don't think I can add anything to this but I could very well if this was my Google Classroom page I could add a link to this um, page and it would take your students to the Padlet that I created um, so it's really easy and like that said you just double click and I can write best of luck on creating your first Padlet. Oops. Pad. Oh, for crying in the night. Padlet. Okay. There you go. So that's how you create a Padlet. Um, so if you have any questions, you can talk to uh, Beth, Liz, myself, um, and we can help you, but you can also watch this video again.